So the Welcome to Sanger Institute was originally a part of the Human Genome Project. It was one of the sites key to mapping the human genome and coming up with the first draft of the human genome. We do a lot of gene sequencing here at the Sanger and that means we deal with a lot of data. We have about 55 petabytes of data on the campus of which now about 20 petabytes or so are stored in our Ceph clusters. And a lot of that data is data that we want to share with collaborators securely through the S3 service um, and some of it is then archived for publication. What we've really liked about Ceph is its reliability. Um, inevitably hardware goes wrong, we've had some power issues here from time to time and we've found that Ceph has just kept on going. Really whatever we've thrown at it, either in terms of power issues or inevitably hardware failures, it's been very robust, it's kept going and scaling it out has been quite straightforward and we've really liked that. If we need to expand the capacity of our cluster we now have real confidence that we can just essentially buy another rack's worth of kit, put it in the data centre, configure it and it'll just be there to use. We looked at a range of options for how we could put a file system together, an object storage system together. There are a number of vendors out there, a number of opportunities. What we were looking for is a solid, resilient, reliable, reproducible platform that we can expand without cul-de-sacs to make available to our collaborators through an S3 interface and to ensure that in the future as we continue to develop the system, we'll be able to ensure a degree of support and stability for the infrastructure that our scientists can rely upon for their, for their research. What we found with Canonical support is they've been quite good about helping us get bug fixes that have essentially needed to go into the upstream Ceph code into the packages within the distribution so they've been available for us to use pretty quickly. We needed someone we could talk to for the really difficult precedents. We have quite a lot of Ceph expertise on site. We've seen a lot of the more common scenarios where things haven't quite gone to plan, but there are just times inevitably where um, you meet something where you need someone with really in-depth knowledge of the system and we saw that Canonical could provide that expertise for us and we were already using Ubuntu for the operating system and the Ceph packages so that made it natural to, to look at uh, Canonical as the support provider. The extra support provided provides the security that we are part of a uh, effectively a collaboration with Canonical. The infrastructure we have here is pushing the boundaries of science. The way our scientists use things is ever developing as their research continues to push the edges of what's possible today. So we're looking for a way of meeting those leading edge requirements, ensuring the resilience of the service, and ensuring that as we grow, we've got someone that can grow with us and help provide that backup support should we hit issues in the future, or should we wish to change the design or architecture of the system, and it enables us to stay in line with best practice and keep us in, really in a good position for where we want to go next. It is gonna be essential for us as we drill into the technology over the next five to 10 years, that we continue to enable the science to expand, to, to explore new opportunities. This will require trusted partners a part of that development process. This is why we've engaged with Conical at this time, to ensure that we're not just looking after our problems from today, but we're looking forward for the future for tomorrow to ensure this continuity. On the technical base, we've found so far that Canonical provided good, solid, reliable support for this platform, which is exactly what we need for the confidence to continue with this platform tomorrow.